Hi friends, this is Bilal Al Haider and this is my 10th video lecture on expert advisors. In this lecture, I'll be talking about user defined functions. As we have seen in previous videos that each expert advisor has three functions already built. They are important because um, without them, the expert advisor will not work. But beside these functions, we can all we can also make our own functions, and that's what we are going to do in this video. Let me tell you some important things of a function, and I am listening uh, right now. The first thing of the function is each function has a name. For example, this function has the name and it's uh, start. This function um, d in it and this function in it. So every function has a name. The second thing, each function has a return type. Return type. Return type is uh, something that upon executing the piece of code uh, written within uh, it, what it is going to return us back. So the return type is written um, before, the, before the name of the function right here. And after we uh, complete our function, we specify uh, some value or something which the function is returning like that the third thing is the body of the function the body of the function consists of the piece of code which we write between um, the starting and the ending curly bracket and the function body starts from the curly bracket right now right here and it ends right here so this is the body of the function this is the return type of the function and this is the name of the function now let's create a user defined function and then la then we will be using it for example um, the, let me tell you before I create the function that there are more than there can be more than one different kinds of return types of a function. In the in the above cases, we have only seen um, only one return type that is integer, but we can have more than one return types, and the different return types are int, double, um boolean a function can return a true or a false value string and void void means that the function returns nothing okay so the the function we are going to create returns nothing but it only displays a message so let's um, write void void means that the function will not return anything let's call a function um, show us and put the brackets um, beside the function and then two curly brackets uh, which will uh, in them we will write the code of what we want this function to do as you only want uh, this function to uh, show us something so let's uh, call alert function and write something in it um, let's say the function show us was called now that we have written this uh, function right here whenever we will call this function it will be uh, executed and this code will be executed and it will alert us that this function was called as you know 
uh, that these functions are already called init function uh, is called when the um, expert is attached to the chart and the init function is called when expert is removed from the chart and the store function is executed whenever a new tick arrives but when this function will be executed so right now I'm going to tell you about it this function can, uh, can be used within these functions and it can be used like this show us the brackets and the <coughs> and the semicolon and whenever this function will be called it will start executing the code written in it and whenever it it will come across this thing it will uh, say that uh, this function should be now executed it will go to that function it will find that function and will go to that function and it will find that function right here and then it will execute the code inside written inside it and whenever when this code will be executed it will return back uh, to here and it will start executing the code written below it like this okay so the beauty of user defined functions is that if we wanted to um, call a function that uh, that will open a trade we will just write our user defined function open by trade and we will write something in it and whenever um, and we will write that code that will open the trade the buy trade for us in that very function and whenever we will call this function it will open a trade for us well we'll see this uh, later but let's uh, now execute this code and let's see what happens compile it it uh, it shows us uh, that there are, there were no errors let's go and attach the expert to the chart navigator expert advisors and my expert attached to the chart click ok and here it says the function show us was called if we um, if we don't call this function from um, from any function at all and compile the code it will say no errors but it will give us uh, one warning and that warning it says that function show us is not referenced and it will be removed from the exp file that means that this function uh, is created inside uh, our file but it was not called so it will be removed um, from the executable file because it was never used. That's all for the tutorial. Thank you for watching tutorial. Um, see you next time.